Hey, it's Brewbird. I'm a Canadian brewing graduate who's made Scotch whiskey in Scotland and whiskey and gin in Wales. In this video, I'm answering eight of the most frequently Googled questions about whiskey. So let's get to it. Gosh, that's a difficult question to answer. Whiskey can be spicy if it's made with rye. It can be tar-like, leathery, smoky if it's made with peated barley. It can be sweet and smooth if it's made with corn. It can have notes of vanilla in it. It can be grassy, nutty, floral, fruity, whiny. <laughs> There's virtually an infinite number of flavor profiles for whiskey. Just take a look at this whiskey flavor wheel. It's no wonder there's so many whiskey geeks out there who are eager to try as many whiskeys as they can. An unopened bottle of whiskey can theoretically last forever, as long as it's stored in ideal conditions. However, once opened, oxygen will start to get into the bottle and the alcohol inside will start to evaporate. This will make the whiskey less harsh easier to drink and smoother on the palate, which can be a good thing. While whiskey won't ever go bad in that it will get moldy or make you sick when you drink it, it will gradually oxidize over time and it will lose the properties which make it unique. So the color, flavor, and fragrance will gradually change and fade over time. So you should plan to finish up a bottle within two years of opening it. However, some experts say you can store a bottle of whiskey for up to five years in ideal conditions. So that means you're keeping the bottle of whiskey below room temperature, you're storing it upright, away from sunlight, and you're minimizing the amount of oxygen that can get in the bottle by transferring the whiskey from one bottle to a smaller bottle. Whiskey has no sugar in it. Whiskey is gluten-free, which is good news for those of you with celiac disease or who are gluten intolerant. In fact, none of the spirits contain gluten. While the base material for whiskey includes grains such as wheat, rye, and barley, the distillation process that it goes through will remove all traces of gluten. While we're on the subject of gluten, wine is also gluten-free. However, beer, which uses grains as a base material, does have gluten in it. No, nope, whiskey is carb-free. I had no idea what the answer to this question was prior to making this video, and I had to Google it myself. It turns out the words are based on the NATO phonetic alphabet, which is the most commonly used radio telephone communication alphabet. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot are code names that have been acrophonically assigned to different letters in the English alphabet. This is to allow letters and numbers to have distinct names that can be easily understood through voice communications through the radio or telephone regardless of language barriers or the quality of the communication channel. If we look at these three code words, whiskey stands for W, tango for T, foxtrot for F or WTF. If you're familiar with urban slang, then you'll know that WTF stands for what the fuck. So whiskey tango foxtrot is just a bit of clever military slang for what the fuck. Whiskey neat means that the whiskey is served unchilled without ice, water, or any mixers added to it. So it's just plain whiskey in the glass. On the other hand, whiskey on the rocks refers to whiskey that's served with ice.
Well, the freezing point of pure alcohol is negative 114 degrees Celsius. So whiskey will generally freeze around negative 25 degrees Celsius to negative 36 degrees Celsius. Well, you might be wondering why the freezing point of whiskey is given as a range rather than a single number. That's because whiskey is sold at different alcoholic strengths. So a whiskey with a higher alcoholic strength will have a lower freezing point, whereas a whiskey with a lower alcoholic strength will have a higher freezing point, closer to water. Your freezer at home probably won't reach the temperature needed to freeze whiskey. And it's generally recommended that you don't put your whiskey in the freezer prior to drinking it, as the cold temperatures will dull the subtle flavor and aromas of your drink. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to me answer eight of the most frequently Googled questions about whiskey. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and distillery videos. This is Brewbird sending goodbye to your way. I'll see you next time.